Oh baby, it's Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day, Brockton. What better place to celebrate Valentine's Day than the Mary Cruz Kennedy Senior Center at 10 Father Kennedy Way. What it, what's the Mary Cruz Kennedy Senior Center? Are you kidding me? That's where the Council on Aging is. And that's where we're going inside to celebrate one of the greatest days of the year. You never know during Valentine's Day what will happen. We're gonna go check it out. We're gonna have some fun. See Janice Fitzgerald, Michelle Brace, Dottie Slack, Jerry Cassidy, and a host of others. What do you look forward to on Valentine's Day, Jerry? I just love coming here on uh, Valentine's Day and giving out uh, all kinds of presents to the uh, wonderful people here. We do have session today, so I'm only session today. I'm only going to be here for a short time, so uh, I have to take care of the uh, the Brockton people. Rumor around town is, as we all know, Senator Mike Brady is cloned. The rumor around town is you have been cloned because you're everywhere that we are. And then some. I am starting to get a little white hair like Mike, but Mike, but I can't sing like Mike. Uh, he's, he's some kind of wonderful, as we know. That's his favorite song. All right, we're inside, but I still get the shades on. I'll tell you, it is so bright. The electricity, the energy, and oh, wait a minute. I see somebody. You look familiar. I like your tie. Oh, is that a chick magnet tie? You might get lucky today. Good luck, buddy. All right, follow me. Follow me. Oh, wait, Joan Madden's here. Joan, 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 Joan. Messiah Baptist Church, Joan, the volunteer producer extraordinaire for Messiah Baptist Church. Joan, Valentine's Day. Tell me about it. I love it. It's such a beautiful, beautiful time. I like how you grab that microphone. Go ahead, take the microphone, Joan. Take it, take it. But listen, I don't do good, I don't do good in front of the camera. I'm better behind the camera. Joan, you're good everywhere. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Thank Day you. to you. I love you guys. I really Oh, do. we love you too. We have the Brockton Rotary Club here today. We have Bridgewater State University, Mary Waldron, and we have camera friendly, Richard Hook from Crescent Credit Union here as well. Let's see what they're up to. It looks like they're handing some things out. Happy, Happy Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Day. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, oh, Mary, Mary. Mary, happy Valentine's Day, darling. Happy Valentine's Day to you and everybody. And it looks like you and the Rotary Club, which we'll get to. I see Nick McCummings over there. Yeah. Is he looking at us? Nick and Betty and Barbara. That's right. Nick, Betty, and Barbara here. And you're next to Richard Hook. How, how did you uh, have the good fortune of standing next to Richard? Because I'm so short. Yeah. <laughs> Richard does have some height. Richard does have some height. And what, so what's, what's uh, the Carnation's lovely idea? Yeah. Um, should I go over and ask the Rotary what's I, what it's I, all about? Well, I am part of Rotary now. Oh, part of Rotary. So it just gets stronger. The Brockton Rotary Club, they meet at Thorny Lee. Um, and we're going to go over and uh, talk to uh, Nick and Betty and see what is going on over at the Rotary Club. Nick, yes. Betty, I am just sandwiching between you. Rotary Club, you're handing out carnations today. Lovely. Yeah. Yes, we are. For Valentine's Day, um, it was brought to our attention. And somebody made a suggestion that the Rotary Club should or make a... Uh, a gesture and hand out red carnations at the Council of Aging. I think it was Richard Hook's idea, to tell you the truth. Um, and so it's the first time we're doing this. Richard, Richard, he he's, a, a, he's a pretty big deal. He is a pretty big deal. He's at a lot of events. He spends a lot of his time um, with Rotary and a, a lot of the other events around the city. And I commend him for, you know, his leadership and his support. Yeah, you know, the reason I said he's a pretty big deal, because I was talking to him the other day and he said, you know what, I am a pretty big deal. Now, Betty, <laughs> Betty, Betty. Um, I'm you not are, that big of a deal. Yeah, you're a big deal. Now, uh, you're a secretary at the Rotary Yes, Club? I am. And you send out those fantastic emails and you keep people posted on what's going on. How do people find more of, about the Rotary? Well, um, you can join us on Thursdays at 1215 at the Thorny Lee. Um, we'll welcome everyone um, for our lunch and come and learn a little bit more about us. So, Richard, I don't even need to ask you a question. What? <laughs> tell me, tell me, tell me. Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. What, 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 you know, we're here just to... Uh, hand out carnations and, and talk about Rotary and, and uh, hopefully make some, put some smiles on faces here. You at Crescent Credit Union, I'm going to be serious for a second, you at Crescent okay. Credit Union, uh, you specifically, uh, you have, uh, you're involved in a lot of different groups and, and organizations and that's big with Crescent Credit Union. It is, yeah, yeah, thank you, it is, it is. Yeah, again, just the plug for Crescent is, is that we're a community-based bank and, and we, we get involved as much as we can. And it will really do that, we, wherever we can. So it's times like this, it, it's Rotary, it's Chamber events, it's different things that we do. And at the end of the day, it, it's, it's, again, it's service and, and, and just doing something for people in their lives. You know, it's it, it just whatever it is. We, we do whatever we can do. 
Now, in today's environment, I took a risk today, Richard, okay? I, I, the tie that I'm wearing, I want you to take uh, uh, a look at it. I took a little bit of a risk, yeah. and I'm hoping it doesn't backfire on me, but can you tell what it is? I, you know, to be honest with you, I can't. No, I, I, you know, I, I don't know. Ducks, chickens, what's there? I don't know. Nick, can you tell? Chickens hatching with a magnet. Mary? Mary? Betty? Happy Easter. <laughs> Betty? <laughs> yeah, not quite. <laughs> so you see the magnet, and you had the first pot right. The magnet. The magnet. Oh, you're a chick, chick magnet. Chick magnet. Ah. Betty, if you say so, if you say so. All right, come follow me. All right. Oops. Get on top of it before they do. Every 24 minutes, tipped furniture or a falling TV sends an injured child to the emergency room. Preventing tip-over incidents is easy, inexpensive, and only takes five minutes. Learn how to secure your furniture and TVs to protect children at anchorit.gov. The Council on Aging, a photographer extraordinaire. Darling, how are you doing today? Fine, thank you for asking, and I, I think I'm missing my camera now. You don't need your camera today. You look lovely. You look lovely. Oh, you, there's your camera right there. No, this is Michelle's. But I think, I think my camera is missing. God bless you. God bless America. God. Wait, what, what is today? Today's uh, Valentine's Day, my sweetheart. Excellent, excellent. And how long have you been sweetheart? 54. That's it? 54 years? Wow, that is really, I mean, seriously, that's incredible. 54 years. Yeah. How did you meet? You don't want to hear a story? Are we going to run out of Are we going to run out of tape here? Well, it's like this: we were going to high school, and she got on the bus, and I got on the bus different times. And I said to myself, I want to meet her. My mother gets a phone call from a mutual friend of my mother and her mother, and the mutual friend says to my mother, "Would well, you like to just like to meet this girl?" And I said, "Yeah, get the address. We'll go." And that was it. Love at first sight. No. It's Everything he said is true. I was 15 and he was 16. On the bus. Okay, what bus was it? Oh, high school, I remember. Oh, it was a high school bus. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Did you have any of the same classes? We weren't in the same school. Different schools? Same town? Oh, yeah. I went, she went to all-girls school. I went to all-boys school. Here we are, 54 years later. Children and two grandchildren, two granddaughters. Lovely, lovely, lovely. That is nice. That's a nice story. That's what people want to know. Valentine's Day. This is what it's all about. Oh, it is a nice story. Mm -hmm. Yep. And so, what have you learned about him in 54 years? Wow. <laughs> That's the first serious question I've asked at the Council on Aging. What have I learned about? Well, I've known him since I was 15, so. You know everything about each other? I guess so. He's my best friend. That is nice. That is nice. Well, happy Valentine's Day to both thank of you. Thank you so much, and happy right. Valentine's Day. Oh, thank, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Ruthie, you do it all here. Uh, how many days do you volunteer here? Uh, Sometimes two or three days a week. Mm -hmm. And uh, we do a variety of things here. Um, answer the phones, filing, having fun. <laughs> having fun might be number one. Just on our experience here, having fun is no doubt number one. Yeah. Uh, Valentine's Day, what do you, what do you have planned? Um, not too much. Uh, maybe go out to dinner later on after this tonight and just relax. What is the surprise? Well, I bought sugar-free chocolate. She can't eat chocolate, so now I know. So next year it's something else. But we did exchange cards today. That's outstanding. So you always, no matter how long you've been with somebody, isn't it interesting how you always learn something new? Yes, it is. After 47 years. She, you, she, she swept, you swept her off her feet. That's what she said? No, no, she didn't. All right, moving on. <laughs>
mighty ocean in a silver plane. Watch the jungle still its wet with rain. Just remind it to your home again. You belong. Hey, Michelle, how are you doing? You hey, Jay Miller, how are you? How'd you know I was here? Uh, I was whispering. Snuck up on me. <laughs> well, that's what I do. <laughs> Michelle, what surprises do we have in store? We promise not to tell anybody. Uh, I don't believe you. You'll tell. Who will I tell? Everyone. Not everyone. Yeah, we all know you. We know you'll, you'll get the word out. You try to be nice and get the word out, so you'll tell everybody. Oh, I'm a nice person? Obviously, you don't know me that well, Michelle. <laughs> so, Valentine's Day, what does it mean to you? Yeah, it's COA or not COA? What do you mean, not always COA? It is a COA. That is the question. Yeah. COA or not COA? Always. No, what does Valentine's Day mean to you? Personally, uh, it's about spreading some love and kindness to people. And I don't know if you know this, but it's actually Random Act of Kindness Week this week. It started on the 12th, so I'm going to announce that and encourage everybody, even if it's something as simple as saying hello to somebody you don't know to make their day. So Random Act of Kindness Day is today? It's this whole week, actually. It's this whole week. Well, yeah. we're going to start soon. Yeah. You look lovely today. Thank you, as do you. I love your tie. Do you know what it is? Ducks and magnets. I'm trying to figure it out. Hatched in a shell. Nice. Magnetic chickens? No, chicken dance? I don't know. You get the first pot of chicken right, and you have the magnet right. Oh, so you're a chick magnet. Oh. If you say so, Michelle. <laughs> oh, hey, bud. Oh. Where, uh, where are you headed? Uh, I'm just going to hang out. It's a school night. With Gary and Todd? Yeah. Not sure about those two. I've been meaning to ask you. This is tougher than I thought. Is there any drinking going on in this crowd? No. I hope not, because alcohol can lead you to say things and do things that you really wish you hadn't. Isn't this what you're supposed to say? I know. So if any of your buddies ever pressure you to take a drink, just tell them you promised your dad you wouldn't. I'd do anything to keep you safe. Okay, I will. I hope this is working. I promise. Love you too, Dad. They really do hear you. Ryan. Yeah? So start the conversation even before they're teenagers. Good idea. For tips on what to say, visit underagedrinking.samsa.gov. A message from the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration. Peter's working hard at the mayor's office, but every so often we like to get him on camera because, well, he was the voice of BCA for a number of years, and now he's just a legend. Peter, <laughs> Valentine's Day, what's it all about to you? Let me tell you something right now that I've fallen in love with the past 10 minutes. I enjoy cranberry juice. I enjoy ginger ale. Never have I thought of putting them together in my life, but now I'm going to do it every day. I think we have a new drink, the Zimbor. Half ginger ale, half cranberry juice, the Zimbor. Arnold Palmer, half lemonade, half iced tea. Now we have the Zimbor. Half cranberry, half ginger ale, or do we... Or is it, uh, what are we doing? Half and half? Two-thirds, one-third? I think it's half and half, straight up. 50-50. All right. Um, if you do a shot of it, do you feel funny? Uh, it gives you a nice little sugar rush. And it's natural sugars, too, because it's fruit. That is true. Dottie, Dottie! Dottie, Dottie! Slack. The person of all things well, all things good. Dottie, Valentine's Day today. Is your hubby coming? My hubby is here. My hubby is over there at the end. Is he causing trouble like he usually does? Always. Always. That's why I'm not sitting with him. Oh, that's a lovely Valentine's Day message to our audience. <laughs> so, Dottie, how long have you been married? On Tuesday, the 20th, it'll be 53 years. That's pretty good. I would say so. It's pretty good, I but we, we so. over, your, over your left shoulder, they've been married 54. They get you by a year. Oh, wow. We're going to have to kick them out. I know, for sure. <laughs> 53, do you remember how you met? Yes, we were fixed up. Blind date. Okay, blind date. And were you looking forward to it? Or like, oh, no. I, was, I actually was. He was a friend, he was a friend of our friends. They, they, they actually delivered papers together when they were 12. And at that time, the, uh, his future wife was my best friend since we were 10. And Leo had just got out of the Army. 
and they said, would you like to go out with Leo Slack? And I said, hey, what, what have I got to lose? Five months later, we were married. 11 months later, we had our first child. 11 months later, we had our second child. And then we got- Irish twins. Irish twins, same year too, January and December. And then we got smart. That's called the rhythm method of birth control. Doesn't work. So we have four children, 12 grandchildren, three great grandchildren. You know, it's fascinating to hear all these great stories. That's a lot of detail, Dottie. I wasn't expecting that. Yep. Thank you for that. You're welcome. You're welcome. And you have, a, this is Random Act of Kindness Week. It is. And you have the loveliest sweater in here. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. You know, it's interesting because today is not only Valentine's Day, but it's the first day of Lent. And you should, you said Random Act of Kindness, and I thought that this year that's what I was going to do every day. Janice, she was right here. She was right here. I don't, I don't know where she is. Janice. Oh, Ooh, hey, hey, Jay. How are Janice, you? I'm doing well. Happy Valentine's Day. Thank you. Same. You're welcome. Same to you, Jay. You're welcome. Am I, ta am I talking too close to the microphone? No. Dottie Slack, uh, this is an interesting question. What are you most proud of here at the Council on Aging? You should be proud. Dottie said, you should be proud. The reason the people are in here in large part is because of you. That's what Dottie said. Oh, that's really nice. Well, it's a team effort, so it's because of all my staff, and we've got the best seniors in Brockton. We do. Are there, they're all here. Not all of them. Oh, you didn't invite some? There's only 120 here. We have 15,000 elders in Brockton. You know, you really need more space, Janice. What's your plan on that? Well, Jay, we're hoping to raise some money to make an expansion to add on to the COA. It's really needed. Really needed. Valentine's Day, what does it mean to you? Chocolate. Uh, vanilla. Chocolate. Peanut butter. Oh, peanut butter and chocolate is good. Trish is having a sleepover tonight. Can I go? I wonder about Lucy's friends. What should I say? I know you're only 10, but one of these days a friend will offer you a drink. And alcohol at your age can lead to so many things, none of them good. So can I go to the sleepover? Lucy, I want you to promise me something. I finished my homework. <laughs> Bigger promise. If there's any drinking, I want you to say, no thanks, not my thing. Mom. I promise you, your real friends won't care. Deal? Sure. Really? I promise, Mom. They really do hear you. Did you pack your toothbrush? For tips on how to start the talk, visit underagedrinking.samsa.gov. A public service message from the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration. Do my thing. And how's it looking? <laughs> So I just wanted to say again, I know it's already been said, thank you to the Brockton Rotary. Brockton Rotary, thank you so very much for being here today. I really appreciate it. Um, and at this time, I would like to welcome Mayor Carpenter. But it's great to see everybody. Hope you enjoy your Valentine's Day. I'm gonna go around for a little bit and say hello, so if there's anything uh, that we can help you with. We've got Pete and Marcy are here with us. And uh, Janice, thanks to you and all your people for putting on a great event for everybody. Thank you. Mr. Hook, so he went out and searched high and low, and he found a red tie. But he just can't say, I found a red tie. You know what he has to say with it? I found a red tie. Do you want to know how much it cost? <laughs> it cost me. Seven bucks. Walk us through how how hard Janice rode you to make sure that she you were real. She, yeah. she told me I could not be here unless I had a red tie. And and specific shade, length, and store. And otherwise I couldn't be here. From so it took me most of the day, five stores, and I finally found the seven dollar tie. Oh, hey, Shana, Shana. Oh we, were, we were just going to eavesdrop, but okay, we'll, we'll, well, you we'll know talk. What? I'll tell you what we were talking about. So it's a huge secret. Tomorrow's my birthday. 
Happy birthday! Thank you! <laughs> 30 again, I can't believe it. Not quite, almost. Almost 30, 29. Okay. Okay. All right, good, good, good. <laughs> what does Valentine's Day mean to you? Oh my goodness, okay, so it shouldn't just be one day, you know, it should, it's a day where you uh, show the people that you love the most, that you do love them and that you care about them. And it's also a time to really, you know, dress up and look nice and just to kind of spread the love. But today it's especially um, uh, poignant because it's also Ash Wednesday. So it starts the Lenten season, people get a chance to uh, recommit themselves to any kind of resolutions or any kind of things that they have, and also to love themselves. So this particular Valentine's Day, it's two and threefold this, this year, I think. It is threefold, because did you know? Did I? No. This is Random Act of Kindness Week. Oh, it is? Oh, and gosh. I'm going to begin, actually you've already begun, but I'm going to start with you. You look lovely, like every other day, but you look Aww. lovely today. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, you know, I'm late on my random acts of kindness because it's already Wednesday and I didn't know. So I've got a lot to do. So here's mine. Council on Aging, Valentine's Day, to you and all of your loved ones, enjoy the holiday and make every day extra special. You belong, you belong to me. Thank you so much.